They came out in their thousands, defying barricades and checkpoints, tear gas and anti-riot pellets, all infuriated by the Indian government for taking away their autonomy. Protests began after Friday prayers in Srinagar, the largest city in Indian-administered Kashmir. Security was eased for a few hours, but by Friday evening, the five-day lockdown was tightened again. Phone lines are dead, so is the internet. Getting to see a doctor is difficult. It was another long walk for the families of patients outside Srinagar's largest hospital. I can't even explain the hardship I had to face to get here. There's no food or milk for children. We are suffering. There are no doctors in the hospital. Here in New Delhi, a majority of politicians in the parliament backed the government's decision of revoking autonomy of the Indian administered Kashmir. But there are some who are skeptical about the timing and the way in which it's been implemented. India's economy is slowing. Tens of thousands of car factory workers are losing their jobs. All the issues around the economy have obviously taken a back seat. I mean, nobody is discussing that except business newspapers, which nobody reads. So essentially, yes, the performance of this government in this uh, term, as well as the previous term, has always been overshadowed by something or the other. Some believe it's Narendra Modi trying to leave his mark after winning the 2019 election with a massive mandate. The Modi mandate was not an economy mandate. It was not based on the dream of fulfilling jobs, economy, but it was a national security election mandate. And this is a legacy term for Modi. This is where he wants to leave a mark on India in the way the first term was merely a preparation for this. Modi leads the Hindu nationalist BJP. Repealing Article 370 on Kashmir autonomy has been one of its core ideologies. There's nothing clandestine about it. There's nothing hidden about it. There's nothing apologetic, being apologetic about it. We have done what we have stood for all this while. We've done of what we have committed ourselves to all this while. Modi looks like he's fulfilled the long-cherished dream of his party. But it's not clear how his government can win the hearts and minds of Kashmiris living under lockdown. Priyanka Gupta, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.